The Madden 25 beta has been out for just over, I think, around 24 hours now, and we have some feedback. Now, we are not sharing our thoughts on the Madden 25 beta, or as Gut Fox likes to call it, the Max- Maximum Football 25 beta. We are sharing other people's thoughts, and we are going to expand on them just based off what they say. So this is not our thoughts on the beta. This is other people's thoughts. The reason I want to say that is because EA put a ban on talking about the beta. You're not allowed to talk about the beta. If you are in the beta program, you are not allowed to talk about the beta. But as you can see here, Throne, one of the biggest YouTubers in the Madden community, says it's an awful gaming experience. Awful. I was quickly reminded why I never play the beta. I hope Madden 25 is nothing like this. That, to me, is a thought. And he actually is is quoting Drini's tweet. Now, Drini, competitive Madden player, one of the best MCS players every single year on EA's live stream, all that stuff. I love Drini. I love Throne. I've learned a lot from those guys over the last several years uh, in, in this Madden space. But Drini actually could see here that he deleted this post. Now, I, I reposted it as soon as I saw it on Twitter because it's, it, it, it's his thoughts, right? He's one of the biggest competitive Madden players every single year. And essentially what the tweet said, if I'm remembering correctly, and this is, as you can tell from Throne's reaction, the tweet essentially said, I don't like the Madden 24 or the Madden 25 beta, right? So he shared a thought. He probably quickly deleted it because he didn't want to share his thoughts, quote unquote, on the Madden 25 beta. And I I think this raises uh, an interesting issue. And I want to come back to this tweet, but I want to show you this other tweet by another content creator. So another content creator, Kenny Games, uh, Kenny is absolutely insane, really good Madden content creator. He said this, and this was like yesterday afternoon, it was 2.57 yesterday afternoon. I think the beta, I think most people were getting it like somewhere around 1 o'clock, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but something like that. Here's what he said. There's already beta leaks plastered all over Twitter. Everybody still calls it Twitter, even though it's called X. I am super guilty of that. If you want to follow any of these guys, I'll put links to their Twitters all in the description. They're great follows if you're wanting to stay informed about what's going on in Madden. Here's what he said. Already beta leaks plastered all over Twitter. If only we could just openly discuss and show the beta, this would provide the ability for legitimate feedback would be expanded infinitely. So what he's talking about here is the whole purpose of a beta. And this is what Gutfuck said. I tend to agree with this. I think he said this last year, maybe a year ago uh, or two years ago. He was talking about just make the beta open for everybody. Why is it a closed beta? Make it open for everybody. Let us stream it. Let us talk about it. Let us promote Madden 25. And instead, what happens is you get these guys on Twitter that are posting Madden 25 beta leaks, and they're directly in violation of the closed beta format. But the problem is, basically, everybody's so scared of getting copyright strikes, they're scared of getting in, in, in trouble, so to speak, by EA, because you when you sign in the when you when you do sign up for the beta, I'm pretty sure you agree to like not discussing your thoughts on the beta. To me, that's really interesting because as we see here and we've continued to see, and I'm going to talk about something else that I do think is really really important. We're going to get to it in just a second, but this right here is really important. Already beta leaks plaster all over Twitter. So what he's saying is, and this is just a fact. This is what people are doing. This is not my thoughts on the issue. I want to be very clear about that because I don't want to get copyright struck in this video because it's absolutely ridiculous to me the criteria for copyright strikes. This happened last year. This has been happening for several years. People will post leaks. If you want to see what's going on in the beta and you are not able to play it, all you have to do is go to Twitter and type in Madden 25 beta leaks and you will find all kinds of stuff. There's from what I've seen so far, there's screenshots, there's play art, um, there's videos, there's menu, like people are posting beta content. Whether EA tries to prevent it or not, people are going to talk about the beta because there is a lot of, a significant amount of viewership that comes from hyping up the game. But also I think even more importantly, and this is why it's such a big issue in our community right now, and this has been something that has been, I think a struggle for content creators. I myself have been very frustrated about this over the last several years and I'm kind of just over I don't know, I'm just kind of over it, and so I guess that's why I'm talking about it more. It doesn't make sense to me why, like, it just does not make sense to me why we can't talk about the game, and the reason why is what I'm about to show you, 
And I'm a big fan of Dubby. I'm a huge fan of Civil. I'm a huge fan of all these EA. They used to be called Game Changers. I think they're just in the creator network now. I'm not sure. Check out this. Check out this video clip. Get increased control across areas. I mean, ball carrier for more dynamic, realistic gameplay. New playbooks capture the game's most innovative, explosive plays. Okay. This was another thing that kind of, I, you know, there, if there's one person I'm pissed at in Madden and EA and general, the playbooks have been nerfed to hell. Now, they showed this crazy montage of all these motion plays, the Mike McDaniel, Tyreek Hill in the backfield, auto motion plays that are never really good in Madden, never really viable in Madden, the auto motion plays. And the whole time I'm thinking, dude, I used to make plays like that by being able to motion snap, being able to motion people around wherever I wanted, not having to wait 20 minutes when I motion somebody for them to set at the line of scrimmage before I snap the ball. I used to be Mike McDaniel creating my own motion snap plays. Now you have removed that creativity to me, and now I have to forcefully do it with the auto motion plays that you put in the game. So for me, I wasn't a fan of you know all the new plays because I used to make those plays. I used to motion snap, and, and, and really the nerfing of the motion snaps, the, the motions in general, is what have made us all kind of stuck running bunch because, I mean, motion snaps were way more prominent in a trips tight end. They were more prominent in wide trips. They were more prominent in every other formation where you could space people out and motion snap, maybe get a boost, maybe get off the press that we're dealing with now and mud. So for me, them nerfing playbooks in general you know, ha has hurt the game in the last couple years. And for me, adding motion or uh, auto motion plays like the Miami Dolphins run is not helping the playbook at all. And it it's even more evident to me when I'm playing college or NCAA 14 lately, been playing a lot of revamped and the playbooks in that are insanely good. There's so many plays in NCAA 14 that have been removed in the past 10 years that just has forced us to be running double post bunch verticals over and over and over and over and over so although they've made some create creative plays you know they're incorporating plays that are run every day on sunday at the end of the day i mean nerfing all the other formations and all the other plays they've taken out i think have hurt the game more than the new plays they've added from you know every day on sunday i mean Okay, so that was W sharing his thoughts, and W did a video like this, several did a video like this, a lot of content creators did, and and here's here's the gist of it. So we are we are not allowed to talk about the Madden 25 beta, yet some of the biggest content creators in the Madden community are sharing their thoughts on an experience, on an exclusive experience to play Madden 25 early, and to break down basically breaking it down i'm for that i'm not against that i'm not mad at at dubby for 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 posting that video uh i'm not mad at civil for posting that video. i'm actually i'm i'm, I'm thankful <laughs> i'm thankful they post video because i want to know as much about man 25 as i can as i'm sure you do which comes back to this uh, tweet here from throne and again this is not me sharing my thoughts on the beta this is me simply responding to other people that are sharing their thoughts on the beta. It's an awful game and experience, in all caps. Awful. Was quickly reminded why I never play the beta. I hope Madden 25 is nothing like this. And again, he is sharing a quote from an MC MCS competitive player, Drini, who posted a valid piece of feedback. If you go on Twitch, also, if you go on Twitch, you spend like 10 minutes in any comp Madden players Twitch chat and you ask a question about the beta or you talk about the beta whatsoever, they're going to talk about it. So I just, the whole reason I'm saying this and the whole reason I wanted to do this video is number one, I did want to respond to some of the, some of the, some of the people's thoughts, right? It's an awful gaming experience. Awful was quickly reminded why I never play the beta. So Thrones thoughts on the Madden 25 beta is that it's not good. Dubby's thoughts on the playbooks in Madden 25 is that they are not improved, right? And you could, that is black and white. There's no gray area in that. Those are their thoughts. You can do with them what they do or what you want. I mean, you also see some of the comments here. Candy Luna 13, everyone is black, LOL. 
Those are his thoughts. Those are not mine. The reason I'm saying this, guys, is because I think that it's time for change with how betas are done. This whole, we're going to release it on July, you know, or June, whatever, uh, June 13th, and then it's over 24 hours and we don't release it. And then, oh, when we do release it, you can't talk about it. But wait, we're going to have all of these content creators talk about it. It, it just, it's this, it's this uh, mixed messaging. I'm trying to think how to word it the best. I think the best phrase is a double standard. Because every, no other, only the, only the content, like this is how it, this is how it seems to me. I don't think this is actually actu accurate. Because what I want to know is, why didn't Dubby get copyright striked for his video? Why didn't Silva get copyright struck for their videos? Why didn't any of the content creators that made any video whatsoever about the Madden 25 beta get copyright striked for it? Because what's interesting is part of the hype of Madden 25, and this is, this, I, I don't think they should, by the way. I think it's great that they're talking about the game because we're sitting here in June. <laughs> we're sitting here in June. We've got, you know, at this point in Madden 24, we have three Vanguard tight ends that just throw everybody on the ground and all anyone does is run stretch or roll out because, and this drives me insane. This is one of the most underrated things that I'm going to say about Madden on next gen. This is a next gen console issue um, as I drop something. This, <laughs> I'm slamming my desk because I'm ticked. Wide receiver screens, for the life of me, I don't understand why when you run a wide receiver screen, this was true in Madden 22, this was true in Madden 23, and this was true in Madden 24. I hope that it is not true in Madden 25. When you run a wide receiver screen, for some reason, there's two, a couple things you can do. Number one, you can hot route. If you hot route the person on the screen, you can hot route everybody on the field. Number two, if you roll out, every single zone is going to blitz the quarterback that's not a deep blue zone. This has been happening for the last three years. I, I don't understand how, how we're getting like, – th this is like if you go watch the King of the Lounge game uh, from uh, Henry, if you're not watching Henry, I don't think you're a Madden fan. I mean, obviously the best player of Matt, best Madden player of all time. He's playing K-Mac, and literally K-Mac is doing this to him, and it is just it's, – it's so not – like – it's just not. It's not fun to watch. It's ridiculous. It's it's a it's a legit glitch, and I don't understand why the coding in the game fundamentally cannot fix wide receiver screens. They have been broken for the last three years. Wide receiver screens, or simply the smokes, you, you take it however you want it. The red route glitch of Madden 22. I don't remember what exactly it was in Madden 23, but I know you could do the same thing. And then Madden, uh, Madden 24 this year, it's wide receiver screens. You can hot route a wide receiver screen, and you can instantly roll out. For whatever reason, they allow you to instantly roll out on wide receiver screens, and every single player on the field blitzes. That is ridiculous, right? Three years on next year, we've got to be able to fix that. The reason I'm saying that, guys, there are issues in the game. People provide their feedback. They don't fix them. That's a problem. And I just think in general that – this like double standard. Nobody wants to be playing Madden 24 right now. Like, I'm cool with playing Madden 24 to prepare for Madden 25, but the current state of mutt is really bad. It's been bad for the last several months. There's been content creators talking about that. The Vanguard stuff's insane. The the rollout the rollout stuff is ridiculous. It's just stuff like that. And I'm not saying you know there shouldn't be some some glitchy stuff or cheesy stuff and people shouldn't have their fun. But, I mean, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild right now if you, if you go play Madden 24 Ultimate Team. So the reason I'm saying that is we're sitting here in June. we got about a month before NCAA comes out. What we want to do is get hyped up for Madden. Everybody wants to talk about Madden 25 because we're excited for the new game. We're excited for what's going to change. That's what people are wanting to talk about. And so you by, by gatekeeping the beta in such a way where you provide a double standard where the only people that can talk about the beta are – People within your creator network is what it seems like to me because, because the things that Dubby shared and the things that – I don't know as much for Sid, but I know for sure Dubby. To me, those are thoughts. Those are thoughts. Those are discussions. Those are comments. Those are, those are thoughts about the beta those are, or, or, in general, the game. And in sharing information, like I'm upset with the playbook guy because the playbooks aren't better, to me, it's just – I don't know. I, I, I just 
uh, as someone that's been doing this for several years, I sit back and wonder, you know, what are we supposed to do when we can't talk about the beta when that's the only thing that people want to talk about because Madden 24 is in a state right now that's really not that fun to play. So you kind of sit back and go, do we just take the month off? Well, you don't want to do that. So I just think it's interesting. Um, obviously, people, there's a reason why there's hype around the beta. People want to play the beta. People want to talk about the beta because of the fact that people are passionate about Madden. And for some reason, it seems like EA has been on this mission, and this drives me insane, to take their most passionate audience and piss them off. They take their mo the most passionate people in their community, people that play Madden every year, buy Madden every year, do content on Madden, people that love Madden, and they, and they remove their passion with these con continual silly decisions. People, the, again... The closed beta thing, I just don't understand it. I, I kind of agree with Gut Fox. I think it, it should be an open beta. It should be for, you know, two weeks or something, and everybody should get to give their feedback. And that's a great way to build hype for your game that's coming out in August because guess what? You're competing now with NCAA, who people are really excited about. So I just think it's kind of just poor. I just think it's a poor move on EA's part. Um I'd like to, s I under, I can understand like not sharing. I can kind of get behind. Let's not share video of the beta. Let's just talk about it. hundred percent. What I don't understand is they've continued to, in the last three years have continued to take more efforts in their little sheet that they put out about the rules for what can be talked about and what can't be talked about. And I just find that odd. I find that really odd because What's going to sell your, your game is your most passionate audience telling everybody to go buy the new Madden because there's some new stuff in there. So to me, I don't know, but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that Drini deleted his tweet, and I can't remember exactly what it said, and we can't see it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it was essentially, I know the beta is not the final build of the game and the game probably can change is going to change a lot by the time they release the full game, but the beta is not good. And you see that all over Twitter. If you search Madden 25 beta, you'll find it. Then you got Throne here again, Throne ton of respect for Throne, obviously a massive content creator. And he comes out and says, it's an awful gaming experience. He was quickly reminded why he never plays the beta. So the thoughts on the beta from two of the most competent Madden players in the world, is that it's not good. So, do with that what you want, guys. Um, might be one of my, my might be one of my last videos on the beta. Not sure. Just kind of sitting here watching the community and just thinking, like, what are we doing? Put an open beta out. Let people talk about it. It makes no sense. People are already going to talk about it no matter what you do. Let people talk about it. Because what happens is when you gatekeep it like this, people just get frustrated. People lose their passion for your game. And ultimately, EA wants to sell more games than Madden. And the way to do that is to take your passionate audience and turn them into your biggest advertisers instead of your biggest critics. The more passionate people are about Madden and the closer they get to EA, they typically tend to get more and more frustrated the closer they get. Would love to see that reversed. And... That's just kind of some of my responses to people's thoughts on the beta. I don't know if you guys like these videos or not. Um, let me know in the comments. I'm sure, you know, I'll leave links to everybody. Again, I think I don't think anyone's in the wrong. I don't think Thrones in the wrong. I don't think Dream's in the wrong. I don't think W's in the wrong. I don't think Civil's in the wrong. I think they should be talking about it. I'm glad they are. I watch all their stuff for a reason, right? Um, as if you're a community member, you should be subbed to all these guys. You should be following all these guys because if you want to know what's going on in Madden. I'm just saying, from an outside perspective looking in, it's interesting to me that they continue to try to gatekeep people talking about it, but then some of their biggest content creators talk about it, and it kind of puts this double standard out. So that's all I'm going to say about that again i'm a big fan of all those guys i watch pretty much every video they've ever done if you want to sub up to them or follow them i will leave links to all of them 
in the description below. And if you want to learn more about the Madden 25 beta, Google it on Twitter. <laughs> Look it up on Twitter. Or X, as I should say. Thanks for watching, boys.